Howdy everybody, it's Amy with Amy's Sparkly Diamond Painting. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video out of this, but I might as well at least for a little while. So this may be a short one, maybe a medium one. Depends on how much I can think of to talk about. I got my storage boxes in today from Amazon for my new Josephine wall from the one with the diamond art. And I was kind of surprised because they said art dot on them. This must be art dot week. That was not on purpose. I did not even realize they were art dot containers here. I usually think of the round ones in the cases when I think of Art Dot, but I just searched for the Tic Tac containers and picked the ones that were cheap. I thought they were the, the ones I bought before these, I think, run $8.95. But in any case, when they came in today, I saw the packaging and I was like, oh, these are Art Dot containers. So I will put a link to those in the comments here. But I got four of these, 64 each, because we have 200 colors to kit up. So hopefully this will do the job. And let's see what we got here. So these containers usually come with stickers, which is a good thing because I, I never did get a better copy of the one sheet that was misprinted. So I am going to do a little artwork for that the symbols for that one sheet and draw them on regular stickers. But these do come 64 in a container with a bunch of little stickers for labeling of the correct size. So this is the Josephine Wall Three Graces from the one with the diamond art. And I could already tell looking at it that there's a little bit more color blocking through here, especially on the skin. So this one may turn out to be a little bit easier. I'm hoping that I don't end up doing more of this one than the other one in the end. Well, I'll try to even them out, but I have a feeling this one, because it's just a little bit easier, might go just a little bit faster. But we'll find out. So the difference is 200 colors versus 270 colors for the Diamond Painting Deutschland one that I'm working on. So we have all the bags here. When I did the unboxing, I tried to keep them somewhat in order. So those look like the second half, and these look like the first half. So this looks like a good place to start. And I will get a tray. One of the good things about 200 plus colors is that there aren't a whole lot of diamonds of any individual color, so you don't get too many of the giant bags because these containers are pretty small. They can maybe hold a little over a thousand drills in each one. So I will have some that won't fit, but hopefully not too many. But that's okay. I'm used to that. I just keep them in the baggies till I'm ready to use them. So this was the sticker sheet that was offset a little bit. So you see the symbol is halfway between the two numbers. And I'm hoping that I can just reproduce those symbols. I will also go ahead and remember to send an email tonight. And I can always replace those stickers with a printout of the correct symbols later on. But here is the image if you're not familiar with this one. And I did see that the one with the diamond art has had a sale today. Of course, today is Great Britain today. And it's probably, well, it's close to, it is 6 p.m. ish. So the sale may be over, but hopefully you caught it. It was a buy one, get one 50% off on their kit. So I kind of wish I had caught that sale when I ordered these because I did order two, but I wasn't quite so lucky, but hopefully some of you were. So this is 70 by 95 centimeters, 200 colors. And we'll just jump right in and get started. So I'm also in the process of cooking dino ribs. So that's uh, as far as what's going on in my personal life. Well, right now I am cooking supper, but I'm doing so in the oven. Typically dino ribs are just uncut short ribs. They come in a big slab and you usually get four giant ribs on a big hunk of meat. But they require low and slow cooking to get done. So I've got them in the oven. We'll probably eat about 10 o'clock tonight. I probably should have put them in this morning before I left for work. But I did not. I'm trying to look through here and find the lower DMC numbers. These did get a bit mixed up. So that's what I'm 
trying to do here is sort through some of these so I can at least be somewhat in the ballpark, but really the DMC order doesn't matter as much because I usually swap them around to do by color rather than DMC number. So we'll just take one and get started here. So the way I like to kit up with these containers, I do have a small opening. So I usually pour into a tray and then pour into the container. So we're gonna see if these have static. I'm not seeing a whole lot of static, but the one I just kitted up from Jaded Gem Shop did have a lot of static in them. Hopefully we'll be okay, but if not, we'll deal with it. So we're just going to take our sticker sheet and these are not cut apart. So I do have scissors with me here. And probably the easiest way is to cut sideways first here across. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let me crawl, cut across. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to run into sticker sheet problems because this one is off as well as you get toward the bottom. We don't care about that first number. That one doesn't matter. We just care about the DMC number and the symbol. But I'm looking as we go down the sheet, you'll see they get more and more offset there. I think we'll be mostly okay on this sheet, but we, we may risk cutting off the bottom of the symbol here on these, these bottom ones. But I'm just cutting across here. I'll just do a little at a time so you don't have to sit there and watch me cutting all of these. So I'll cut some and then work on some. That last number on here is the number of drills of each color. I don't care about that either. So I won't worry too much about that sticker. Okay, so hopefully, oops, I didn't cut the top on that one. Okay, so I have color 152 and I have learned over time that I do sticker first and then pour the drills in because otherwise I can forget to label them and then I'm confused on which color is which. So I'm going to do this kind of the way I did the other ones where I separate out the symbol with the DMC number below it and I can probably cut this a better way and I probably should. I can do it. On the other side, I'll just get through these first few where I don't have to struggle to peel the back off. So there is a little trick you can do when you cut these to make that easy. But we'll just get this first one out of the way so I can feel like I am doing something here. So back to dino ribs. Typically, you cook them for maybe 10 to 12 hours or more on the grill outside, but that wasn't available to me. The only reason I got them was because they were on clearance yesterday and they're, they're big and we like our barbecue out here. So we'll see what we can do. We'll cook them for a while and see if I can get them tender enough and uh, put them in the broiler to finish the outsides near the end. A lot of recipes for the oven version say you can get them done in four or five hours. They won't be quite as good or quite as tender, but at least they'll be edible for supper. So I did eat a lunch at work, so I'm not like starving. And there we go. Yay, we kitted our, our first color there. So one of the ways that you can make these easier to peel is, and I probably should have thought of that sooner, um, is, well, I'll do it after a little while because I already have these trimmed, but you can peel off like this side so that you have something to grab onto and peel that direction to get the stickers off, but anyway. We'll do that later. So 153, so I'm not sure where 150 is. It's somewhere in the mess there. So, well, I can do it with these. So I can peel off a section here. We don't care about the numbers. 
here so I can peel this whole thing off like this and cut it off. And now we have something to hold on to there to make peeling the labels off much easier, if that makes sense. So 153 here, now I can just grab it and peel it. So that is one way. Oops, I didn't cut those two apart. Interesting. There we go. So there we go. <laughs> Probably more complicated than it needs to be. So we'll put the DMC there. And I'll just tear it. I don't care about the end and how good it looks. And there we go. There's color 153. And we're going to have lots of baggies left over even though they have numbers on them. I hate to throw away all these good baggies. So I will save them. Yeah. And I'll try to remember to keep this in camera view. So I hope everybody is surviving Monday here or whatever day it is that you see this video. It hasn't been too bad, but it's about to get more interesting, which is a good thing for, for us in the weather business. So sometimes the boring heat and drought day after day, uh, it gets old. So we're, we're, we've been dealing with fires and around the area, not here, but a lot of places have had wildfire problems. And we finally have a change in the pattern and some rain coming. So we actually have a 40% chance of rain tomorrow for this area. So I think we're all looking forward to a little bit of rain. And the Brady Goat Cook-Off that I talked about yesterday that I'm going to be working Saturday, we actually have rain in the forecast for that too. So there may be a few disappointed people, but really out in this part of the world, rain is a welcome thing even if you have to change some plans because of it. Uh, there are a lot of drills for this one, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the whole top out so that I don't end up spilling these all over the place. And I usually just tap the back end, and that's a good reason why we keep the baggies as well, because there were just a few too many of color 154. So I will put the rest back in the baggie here. And we'll have a little bit of overflow. So I'm curious, once I get this kitted up, I should be able to somewhat quickly be able to tell if the colors are the same as the other one, just fewer of them, or if they've gone completely different direction with some of the colors. I'll try to do a little bit of a comparison with some of the colors. Let's see. Let me cut about down to here. And I'm going to cut into the picture a little bit, but that's okay because I, I have it online because I cut all the way through the end of these, but I want to do kind of the, the trick to make these easier to peel off. So I had to go kind of far into the picture a little bit, but that's okay. I know what the picture is. So now I can cut there. And there we go. Now the stickers will be easy to peel off. So that's number 158 right there. A little messy with how I'm cutting, but I'm not worried about perfection. This is just for me, for my own purposes. So we'll just be a little bit messy here. And there we go. And the symbols with uh, one with the diamond art, they usually start with numbers and then uh, uppercase letters. And then they go into a lot of different types of symbols. And some of them are Chinese characters. You see the Chinese characters a lot on Jaded Gem Shop kits as well. And a lot of household item symbols like telephones, cars, televisions, all sorts of 
unusual symbols. So I know some people kid them up by subject matter of the symbol. I've tried that. That doesn't work as well for me. So do what works for you. And for me, doing it by color. Now this bag is definitely going to be too full to fit in one of these little containers. So I won't dump it all out. Let's see, 169. These are not cut through all the way. So let's do some more there. And, oops. Got it stuck to the baggie there. So I did try the art dot glasses last night, but oops, come on, stick on there, but not for diamond painting yet, because when I finished the video, I went ahead and sat on the couch and started working on cross stitch. And they do indeed work very well for cross stitching. I'm not sure they will work quite as well for diamond painting, but I will give it a shot and we'll see when I get to the point of working on this one because you have to kind of hold the item that you're working on kind of close to your your eyes and your glasses because they are magnifiers so sitting like a foot or more distant from what you're working on it may actually be um, somewhat difficult to see so they may work a lot like my cheater glasses that i wear right now where i have to kind of bend over and look down on it kind of stick that's why i don't do a lot of whip and chats because i have to put my nose <laughs> close to the canvas so it's hard for me to to do the camera uh, with whip and chats but in any case i'll give it a try and see how well it works and i'll keep you guys posted on that but for cross stitch they were amazing they were so clear the view through them was really really clean and neat which makes me wonder if my cheaters that I've been wearing for several months now I order these off of Amazon rather than buying the ones at the grocery store because these are a bit better quality but I haven't it's been several months that I've had this pair and I think they're all scratched up so the view through the our dot magnifier was so clear that it made me think that my cheaters are old and need to be replaced because it was very very nice it was like in suddenly seeing in hd <laughs> so very happy with them for plastic i am just making all sorts of mess here i should have gone back to pouring in the the tray and then pouring into the container let me rescue those although this particular color it looks like we have quite a few so the more drills you have probably the more extra that you'll have because a lot of companies do a 20 percent overfill in case there's trash or other issues so the more you have 20 percent of 100 is a lot more than 20 percent of say 10. So I don't worry as much when I have the bigger packages, but when you have the smaller ones, then you don't want to lose too many of those because you may not have nearly as many extras. So you do have to be a little bit careful. And I did notice a couple of the budget friendly kits I've done lately, instead of looking like there's a percentage, it looks like they just throw like a hundred extra. Because I finished one of my PR package kits. It was the Beach House from One Day Saving that I did an unboxing for. Really neat little kit. It was fun to do, quite enjoyable. But I did notice that with all the colors, there looked like maybe about 100 drills extra for all of them, no matter how many the kit started with. So that is another way that you can have overflow that to me seems a little bit safer. I think because it doesn't matter how many are in the kit. Now, whether that's reasonable to do when you only have like 20 or 30 in the kit for that's needed and you put 100 extra, that may be a bit overkill. But I did enjoy having that many extra. And I'm trying to look for, because these got out of order, 
some of the lower numbers that are still in there. There's 209, 208. <laughs> I got these all out of order somehow. Let's start with 208 here. Put the sticker on. Capital D. So, uh, I'm already running out of interesting things to talk about. My kiddo got back from her trip to Oregon over the weekend. Went quite well. She was sad to come home because the ne very next day she was back at work. Uh, my hubby's been working on his own YouTube channel and his has taken a bit more equipment and expense than mine because he's working on RC cars or remote control cars. He's pretty serious into, a, I say adult, remote control racing, but think of remote control airplanes and how expensive those are. Well, these are cars that you can't buy them at Walmart. They're not the ones you buy for kids. They cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars for a good remote control car and they need constant maintenance and fixing and all that good stuff. And it takes a certain amount of knowledge and tools and all that that he's built up through the years. So he's creating a channel that's kind of a how-to channel for somebody new into RC car racing, how to work on a car, how to upgrade cars, how to create the bodies for them, all that kind of stuff. And he's picturing like his nephew, teenage nephew, as he's creating these videos. Um, a lot of like tutorial type stuff, but also racing because they've just finished two different professional races over the previous couple weekends out at the track. So he's also getting racing footage. Well, in order to try to do racing footage, he needed a GoPro. So he got the GoPro so he could get good coverage. Well, it requires a lot of post editing in order to zoom in and all that stuff. And well, his laptop wasn't, the stickers actually sticking out and sticking onto things. So I'll trim that one. Anyway, so his laptop couldn't handle the editing software, <laughs> which required two terabyte video card. Crazy, crazy stuff. Basically a gaming computer. So guess what? He had to buy a gaming computer <laughs> to be able to now edit his GoPro footage for his channel. So his new channel is costing a whole lot more to start out than mine and I may go ahead and put a link down on my video if you want to check it out I know you're probably not into RC car racing but maybe you know somebody who is or who's interested or just likes to watch little cars go round and round on various tracks so we have um, out here an off-road track and a circle racing track two different types of styles of racing and so he's doing cars and talking about cars for all of them so if you know anybody into RC car racing you might check it out so he's been spending a lot of his time working on that so now we got two of us trying to talk over each other and do videos there's 159 that's a low number here huh? there it is we're getting somewhere here Slowly but surely, only, what, 190 to go? That won't take too long. I might have supper done by the time I'm done. So this, these are definitely a longer process for kitting up, but it's worth it once you get it all done and organized and you can just jump from one color to the next much easier. Because working with 200 plus colors is bit different than working with say 2240 so but it's worth a try it's worth something to check out just once and see what you think there are some 
smaller paintings out there that have maybe 50, 60 colors that you can try out to see if you even like the process before you go invest in one of these bigger kits. And I'm gonna have a huge pile of baggies over there. So that's a five, a six. Here's a with a high of 32 degrees Celsius and a low of 21 degrees. <laughs> was just giving me my forecast for tomorrow, but I kind of know it. Let's see. But that's okay. I do that for fun. 600s. These really got out of order. So I got a few 300s here. There's a 498. Vibes. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I was wondering where that very first one went. There, we found number 150. And somewhere in there is a purple. Number 210. We'll be looking for that one too. So nothing else exciting going on in our lives over here. Um, Some, a couple new restaurants opening up that we might check out. I just, we, we honestly lead a little bit of a boring life with my hubby retired and not having to worry about work so much. And my job only really getting really interesting um, in spurts at different times of the year based on what the weather does. My kiddos just day to day, they both work at Walmart. So they have a lot of fun customer stories to tell at times. But not a whole lot going on there too, which is another reason why I suffer a little bit with trying to do with the chats because I run out of things to talk about. <laughs> I'm trying to look here. There's some 400s. More 500s. Looking there we go. There's another 300. These. Maybe this wasn't me <laughs> that got them all mixed up. Maybe they just came this way. Okay, there's some more 300s. Okay. I'm still not seeing my purple 210. That worries me a little bit. There it is. Okay. That's better. So we, we have our little bit of 210. So you can see a lot of these colors. Uh, there's not a whole lot of and they all fit, but I'm already up to four of them that didn't fit all the way. And of course these grays and blacks, there, there are a lot of those. Um, let's see what I've been watching on TV. Not a whole lot, but uh, later this week, I believe it's Thursday, season two of the, the Rings of Power will come on. And Rings of Power is a Lord of the Rings type story. It kind of goes back to the early history of the... Lord of the Rings characters kind of using some of the backstories and short stories and uh, some of the other books that Tolkien wrote to kind of tell the early story of the Rings of Power and how they came to be and how the bad guys came to be. I missed a couple drills in that bag. And since that was one of the colors where there weren't a whole lot, I thought I'd better go ahead and grab them just in case. There we go. So the way they're releasing the Rings of Power, they're doing the first three episodes on Thursday, and then they, they're they doing the rest of them one at a time throughout the next several weeks. Let's do, we need more stickers here. So we are starting the 300s. So I will cut there at the 300s. that strip out and then I will peel the side that has the number of drills again we don't need that 
of a diamond painting. So I'll peel that off and cut down that strip, leaving the yellow there. So I can more easily peel off the stickers one at a time. So I'll just cut this off. If it doesn't stick to my scissors here, like that. There we go. So rings of power. Well, that means I might be doing a little more cross stitching. Although I really need to get some diamond painting done as well. I would be so happy if days had more like 40 hours in them. I just I have more to do than I have time for. And I'm not anywhere close to retirement, which means I still got to put in all my hours of work and the shopping and cooking and all the responsible things, plus hanging out my, with my family and going out. Friday night is our usual going out time. And got a busy weekend this weekend. So eventually, there we go. We'll get everything done, but TV time is good for cross stitch because I can sit on the couch and work on that. It's much harder to work on these giant diamond paintings while you're watching TV or sitting on the couch. So we'll see what we get done here before Thursday, but Thursday through probably Sunday this week. I might not get a whole lot done diamond painting wise, but we'll try, we'll see. This is for fun. This is not a chore. This is something I enjoy. So if we don't get to it all, well, we will eventually. So I don't want to turn it into a chore and make it a less enjoyable experience. And I've kind of slowed down on the PR packages. I know the companies have their, their waves where they get a bunch of those out and then it goes quiet for a while. So I'm actually sitting there with no PR packages in my possession. And I know it's not always as interesting or exciting for everybody. Some really like the PR packages, but others may not because it does feel a little bit like advertising, but we do try to give honest reviews. I know I speak for a lot of creators out there that we're, we're actually not told how to go about reviewing the products. They just want us to share information about the companies and tell people honestly what we think about the items, which we try our best to do. And I'm speaking not just for me, but all of them or at least most of the creators that I watch that I've seen. But the companies basically use it as advertising. So we don't get paid or anything like that, uh, but we do get the diamond paintings for free. And so there is a bit of cost involved. Usually it's $20 or less for the value of the diamond paintings, but there's also the shipping involved as well. So there's a little bit of a cost for the companies to do that. So they seem to come and go in waves as far as I can tell. So I've got a couple on the way from a couple of companies, but some companies I haven't heard back from in a while. And it could be that they were not interested in my videos or it could just be that they don't have the extra advertising money right now. I mean, there could be all sorts of reasons why I don't worry about it too much. But the PR packages do help us have content for our channels and they help keep us going and all that good stuff. But I don't worry too much. I've got plenty of diamond paintings to work on and things that I can show you without them. But I do appreciate everybody listening in on those and doing the watches and the likes and the subscribes and all that because that's kind of what the companies are all looking for is how much of an audience are they reaching out there is it really worth their money to do that so thank you all for 
putting up with the ads that show up on our channels and all that. And if you're curious about YouTube ads, uh, we don't have much control. I won't say no control, but we, we have very little control over the types of ads that show up on our channel. And since I pay for the ad-free version of YouTube, I'm not even sure what kind of ads show up or how frequently on my channel. But we can uh, give a few categories or, you know, kind of give like specific say, I don't want, you know, violence or, you know, gun ads or very limited number of things you, that you could say that you're not interested in having on your channel. But that's about it as far as control on the ads. But the ads are how we make a buck or two here and there, and really it's not much. I, I was always kind of curious. It's, it's definitely not a whole lot of money. Now those that are getting in the big leagues, like 10,000 views or more, may be making money. I know my hubby watches a couple of car uh, fixing content creators that have been able to quit their jobs and all that. That's nowhere near I mean, mine doesn't quite even pay the cell phone bill <laughs> each month. So it's not much. So what I do with the money is I try to buy things for you all to see. And that's why I welcome your feedback. If there's a certain shop that I've never purchased from, there are a lot of small shops out there I haven't purchased from. So, but I know other content creators do, so that's why I typically go for more of the budget-friendly stuff because that seems to be the audience here that I've gathered over time. But let me know in the comments if there is a particular company or uh, something you're curious in seeing because I can take the money that I do get from my channel and turn it around and spend it back on my channel because that's how we keep going is by supporting various small shops i am getting excited i've been watching closely uh bella safina i've done a couple unboxings of her stuff the latest one that i did was uh, a jody bergsma sea turtle yet. Well, she is trying something very new and different. She's trying to break away from some of the trouble that she's had in the past with Chinese suppliers. So she is doing blank canvas uh, diamond paintings with her own artwork and they should be available very soon. She was hoping to have them by the end of August. But of course, with any new endeavor, there will be little uh, bumps in the road along the way. And there were, I think, some troubles with the bag design and a couple other things. So it's taken just a little bit longer. I think she posted an update that there were a few colors of drills that were missing from her big order. So she's going to have to get some of those in. All in good time. I haven't been too worried about it because I have so many other projects to work on. This bag may be too full to fit in there. So if you've ever been curious about doing a diamond painting on a blank canvas, or if you thought maybe you'd want to do one of the Heaven and Earth Designs giant cross-stitch conversions, but weren't sure if you wanted to commit to something that big, then what she is offering may be worth it for you. So check out Bella Safina's uh, Facebook page because you'll get a member discount for joining her newsletter updates and Facebook page for basically VIP type group because they will be releasing shortly. So on her website they now show coming soon but when she's ready which should be in the next couple weeks then she will allow orders to be taken for those. So she is designing the artwork and then she's got the blank canvases printing printed and then she is 
She has designed all the packaging and everything. And she is filling the drills, drill bags herself and counting them out and all that. And putting together a kit with a blank canvas, a chart uh, for, I think she's doing a few different styles, a color chart, black and white, and a pattern keeper chart, which I can show you all. Once my kit comes in, I did order one and I will be uh, showing them on my channel. I'll do kind of a tutorial on how to do those kind of things, but I will be showing both with paper and with pattern keeper. So that should be coming up here sometime in the next few weeks. So I'll be looking forward to that. So much time in painting, so little time. I just like to try so many different things, as you can probably already tell from my channel. Big ones, small ones, special drill ones. I just, I want to try it all and see how it all works. And I have done a little bit of cross-stitch conversion work and of course the ones I pick are the ones with the max colors and it it does take a little more concentration but if you've got something on your mind that's really bugging you and you want a distraction they are really good for that because you get so busy worrying about what drill color is where and all that that you forget about your other worries and things that were on your mind so I actually enjoy the high confetti for partly for that reason. I think I just, I can remove myself from the headaches of work and other things and just concentrate on making a pretty picture for a while. So I've gone on about 41 minutes here according to my camera and I probably need to go check on our ribs and I really don't have a whole lot to report. I just wanted to show you all that I am in the process of kitting this one up. And so the next update for this project will hopefully be a side-by-side -side of at least the top part. I don't know if I'll get to the whole top row of this one before I share an update or how far I'll get, but at least the top corner so I can kind of start looking at the colors and see how well these line up. The pictures look very close from what I can tell already. So I think they will be quite similar. One area that may be slightly different is the background color because I think the Diamond Painting Deutschland one looks like slightly lighter colors than this one for the background. But we'll see. So I'm going to end this here as I keep working through these because boy I got almost nowhere this is going to take me a whole evening just to get this up but that's okay that's why we do this I keep saying but that's okay <laughs> not complaining certainly not but check out well it's probably too late to check out the sale on the one with the diamond art um, but if you are starting a J wall or Josephine Wall, we call them J Walls for short. There is a Josephine Wall Diamond Painting Facebook group out there so that you can kind of feel the, the love from others out there doing the same thing. Even though there's not an event going on right now, there is every year near the beginning of the year. I think it's March or April and 310. Yeah, I'd say that's not gonna fit in there. <laughs> That's a given. But anyway, you can, that Facebook group goes on year round, even though the event is for a couple months. So there are plenty of people still on that Facebook page working on their projects and sharing their canvases and their progress and all that. So check it out, even if you just wanna sit and watch other people do it, as you decide yourself if you want to or not. You can just kind of watch as other people share their stuff on there. So I think I'll let you go here because I'm 
busy making a mess with these 310 drills. Had a pretty good spillage here, but there are a lot of 310, so no worries. I'm sure we'll have enough. But maybe while I'm at it, because it is 310, let's see how they look. Let's shake them up. Well, pretty good there. They look pretty straight. Oh yeah. They'll line up. You want them to line up if you want to do multi-placing, but really for a Josephine wall, you're doing very little multi-placing because you're changing colors right and left on these. So there's very few places where you'd have two or three drills of the same color in a row. Although the face looks like a pretty good area and some of the background looks like it can have some multi-placing opportunities, but even the background, it, Looks like the same color, but when you read the symbols, you see it's actually not. There are multiple shades, even in the background, so. Okay, so I will leave you here, and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more content, you can hit the like button, the subscribe, the comments, they all really help the algorithms that give us the exposure that we need to help our channels grow. So thank you for watching and stay safe out there and we'll check in later.